for the downtown east side food fact. So you're welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I'm the council, sorry, the council, no, I'm not. I'm actually the executive director of Mission Possible. Um, and our uh, charitable organization has been around for over 25 years in the downtown east side. Uh, but it was back in 2009 that we began our first social enterprise. And our organization now provides employment readiness training for individuals with barriers to obtaining traditional employment. And we operate two social enterprises, MP Maintenance and MP Neighbors. We are on track to train over 100 individuals uh, this year, uh, as well as place uh, 50 people in transitional jobs. Over the last seven years, we've employed nearly 175 individuals. This has resulted in nearly $1 million of wages uh, being created and circulated through the downtown east side. The reason I mention these milestones is not for recognition, but because these accomplishments are at least in part uh, due to many of you right here in these chambers. In 2009, we were given the opportunity to begin hiring individuals in the downtown east side through the Great Beginnings funding. This allowed us to leverage that available funding, bring on other social impact investors, and ultimately, we began to see individuals move toward more stable, sustainable livelihoods through part-time transitional employment. The challenge for us in Mission Possible and other social enterprises that have been part of the SEDSAC committee is that none of us are able to hire everyone. The message of core idea number one in the strategy is that livelihoods are on a continuum. Not every individual is ready or able for steady or able for steady employment. Even steady part-time employment is really hard for a lot of individuals. That's why it's so important that there be a diverse array of opportunities that serve people at various point, points on the continuum. The city can help achieve this through increasing its investment in community economic development, as well as investing in the studies outlined in this strategy. These studies will help us understand the economic landscape better, identify deficiencies, and continue to create solutions. I'm confident in West Regan asking for this investment for the downtown east side community because I know that this kind of investment works. I'm a firm believer that none of us in this beautiful city are locked into a certain income or ability bracket. When Vancouverites have the opportunity and the support we need, we are often able to make small incremental moves across the employment continuum. It's true for individuals who are struggling with the effects of poverty as well. When the assets, abilities, gifts, and talents of individuals are utilized and enlivened, they can reach their potential. Not only that, but they can redefine their potential altogether. It was Jane Jacob who said that poverty has no causes. Only prosperity has causes. There are a, lot, a large host of organizations and individuals working to create prosperity both socially and economically for those who are currently lacking it and have been part of this, this strategy. I hope that you will see fit to fund the initiative.